Right then, this is a quick walk around video on a bit of a windy day, I'm afraid. Um, so I hope you can hear me. This is for a Honda, Honda CRV 2 litre ES automatic. This car has covered just 34,900 miles. Really rather an exceptional car. In very, very nice condition. Uh, front of the car, generally clean. Bonnet, hardly a stone chip of any note in there at all. Near side, lovely and clean. No um, obvious indentations there I can see. Near side front alloy, pretty much unmarked. Panels really nice. You'll always get the odd sort of light brush mark on the near side, but they're not that prominent. Near side rear alloy, lovely. And then the back of the car, all very clean indeed. Then off side of the car, driver's side. Again, very, very smooth in the panels. Near side rear, off side rear alloy, again, absolutely unmarked. The main panel looks really, really clean. Final alloy, absolutely unmarked there. I mean, it obviously will have the odd minor blemish, but it is in lovely condition. Coming to the back of the car now, absolutely enormous boots, and this has got all the original equipment with it, and it looks like new in the back here. It's incredibly clean. Coming to the back, absolutely enormous amounts of leg room. Half leather Alcantara seats. The seats are in really lovely condition. Coming to the front now, again, front passenger seat. Again, really, really, really clean. Coming in on the driver's side now, again, all very clean and tidy. Footwell area is really clean. The driver's seat again for an 11 year old car is in superb condition. The only wear you'll get, and it's not really wear as such, is on the bolster here, which compresses as your backside slides in and out, which it's meant to do. So, inside the car now, engine's running for this section as always. Um, dashboard just looks in beautiful condition, really does. Go across the main dash binnacle here. 34,965 miles and no warning lights at all on the dashboard. Finally just to show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key all here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre ES automatic. Uh, this car is registered WL61 DLU and with an incredible mileage, just 34,958 recorded. The reason we do these videos, and especially actually this road test section, is to ensure that if anyone's looking at any of our cars online, they actually get to see the very car advertised in operation. And the reason is simple is because, like so many people, we've been to see cars which have looked absolutely fine in photographs and description, only to get there and find out when you drive it, it's got an obvious fault that shows up when you drive the car, so that's why we do it. We also do it on these lovely quiet country roads in this very beautiful part of Gloucestershire. Um, this actually forms part of the road test route we take our customers on, and the reason for that is hopefully it will then be representative of what you'd feel yourself, should you be offered a test drive in the car. So, coming to the car, um, Clearly with such a low mileage, you'd anticipate it would drive well and it doesn't disappoint. So if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, you can turn off now. Um, it just drives beautifully. It really, really does. Um, engine starts instantly, of course, and settles to smooth, even idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all related to the engine or any other part of the car. And temperature gauge is running at a third, which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda vehicle. Um, the engines are an absolute gem. Uh, Honda build you know, the best four-cylinder engines in the world, bar none. Uh, and this is a classic example of why, because you know it gives you everything you want from a Honda in particular. Um, they, with regular servicing, are very tough and reliable over enormous mileages. But it's also just a lovely engine to use day in, day out, because it's flexible, it doesn't cough or splutter when it gets low on the revs, it's keen to rev, and when it does, it does with a, a lovely mechanical refinement to it. Um, you'll hear it, but it's not that kind of coarse edge to it. It's, um, it's just a beautiful piece of engineering. They are cam chain driven, by the way, so there's no cam belts to worry about in them either. Um, 
engine then feeds them into the auto gearbox um, which like the engine has a reputation for being incredibly strong and reliable over enormous mileages um, what it gives you is very slick shifts um, the ratio is obviously carefully chosen to extract the best from the engine in terms of you know performance and economy because obviously it's a compromise between the two um, notwithstanding reputation as I always say where when you drive any auto or go to check the car just make sure the gear changes are smooth on the move which it should be but more particularly actually when you're stationary and you select drive or reverse just make sure it doesn't go in with great clonks or thunks and it sort of jars you when it does it um, and again in all respects this is absolutely spot on so coming to the steering and the chassis of the car um, Honda, you know, the best the CRV is the best selling SUV in the world, and as soon as you drive it, you get to know why. Um, if you're looking at this video thinking, well, that's an 11 year old car, it's going to feel kind of old to drive, it doesn't at all. It feels so car like in every way. And it starts with the steering, which is uh, power steering, so it's light and easy to maneuvre, but it also has kind of a weight to it, which makes the car feel very settled and solid on the road. Um, but it's precise, it's accurate. Um, and it works beautifully with the chassis of the car. Um, as I said at the start of the video, it just feels tight as a drum as well. Um, tracks dead straight, there's no vibrations at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. Um, let's make sure the chap doesn't pull out on me. Um, the chassis of the car, again, as I said, works beautifully for the, the steering. Um, when you go through corners like this one, it's a bit yumpy and um, not pleasant but when you turn in minimal movement to get the car go round you don't get huge amount of body action there's no that, that kind of heave hose swaying and secondary motions you can get with taller vehicles uh, it feels very settled on the road and flows the corners very well indeed um, without as I always say without pretending for a second it's um, uh, it, it's sporty because it is not you know there's no, there's no two ways about it um, Also, as I'm driving along, just listening out for any noises that shouldn't be there, any sort of clonks or rattles coming from underneath the vehicle, and there's absolutely nothing at all. So, all very, very solid indeed. I'm going to give the brakes a bit of a thump in a second, but because I've got traffic behind me, I'm not going to do it quite yet, so I'll just turn up here. Thumb plow up to speed. A very, very good brake pedal on the car. What I'm looking for in particular on automatics, because they do a lot more of the work, the brakes. Um, just checking out for any kind of pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal. Um, and there's none at all. It's absolutely solid. Um, finally, coming inside the car. And bear in mind that we've not cleaned the car. It's literally just arrived. I mean, it hardly needs cleaning. I mean, it's almost tempting not to but it is in lovely condition here what videos can never get across is just how brilliantly put together these cars are um, it's so solid no squeaks no rattles nothing at all and this is as I always say this is real build quality this isn't you know I've always been frustrated by um, the motoring press and the, the, um, the online video reviews of some of these cars you know, they all judge build quality, it seems, by squidgy soft plastics and head heavy thunky doors. But then they've come back to the cars in 10 years' time to see how they're standing up, even low mileage ones. And it's amazing how many of those cars which have been lauded as having the best build quality can be rattly, groany, things not working anymore, things falling off, buttons that are worn away. Um, and then you get in a Honda, and this is where they, they, they don't kind of shout out about their build quality it's just beautifully done because they know ultimately the car is going to be used to ferry people about and probably families um, so it's got to be tough so what they do is they give you tough interior plastics which they bolt together brilliantly well so it's the build quality is the issue um, and it is brilliantly put together and um, you can wipe the surfaces clean it's very resistant to you know marks and damage 
um, or to a degree at least anyway. Um, but in lovely condition in here. It's just also a fabulous place to sit because you've got brilliant visibility, massive wing mirrors to help you on sort of dual carriageway and motorways and manoeuvring. Um, you, know, you can actually see the bonnet of the car, which is a minor miracle in modern, this modern age. And then you get the dashboard, which, joy of joys, is just so simple to get in, drive. I mean, it's, you know, too many cars now, you need a you know, degree in whatever to even start the things, let alone operate them. Here you've got a huge, simple, easy-to-use radio. It couldn't be easier. Likewise, a ventilation system self-explanatory you look at it straight away you know exactly what you need to do it does give you different temperatures side to side if you so wish and it pumps out ice cold air so working perfectly as well heated seats again work exactly as they should then you've got a information binnacle in front which is classic honda beautifully detailed minimalist and all the better for it all the information you need not over fussy you look at it you take the information in you look back at the road that's exactly how it should be and then you've got this lovely leather-bound steering wheel, which just shows absolutely no wear in it at all. Um, finally, this is a four-wheel drive car, by the way. Um, not all CRVs are. Um, however, you don't do anything in the car. It does it all for you, because Honda worked out very quickly that most people would be doing as I am today, driving in perfectly good conditions, where you just don't need four-wheel drive on. Um, so what it does is it runs in front-wheel drive, which is pretty much but it is the most efficient way to pull a car along um, should it need to go into four wheel drive it'll do it for you so basically if you hit some snow or ice or mud or on a grassy field or something you put your foot down to, and you lose grip before you can react it's already worked it out and it's given you four wheel drive it's brilliant in the way it operates and it's seamless as well um, I have a CRV, as does my wife, and we tow a caravan across some pretty muddy places and we've never ever come close to getting stuck with one, so it, it's very good indeed. It's The fact that it's not been used permanently, as with some four-wheel drive systems, means the tyres are less prone to be uh, worn out as quickly, you're not going to use as much fuel, and it look, puts far less mechanical stress to the vehicle so much so that we, we actually never ever touch them in terms of the four-wheel drive it is incredibly reliable um, as I said at the start of the video it is a brief one it's just to show the car operating um, it literally and I, and I do say it occasionally but it, it is such a cliche uh, to say that it drives like new but it literally does it just has that kind of tightness to it and feel on the road that feels like it's hardly turned a wheel in its life um, whoever gets this next will be very lucky indeed. It is a simply lovely car in every way.